Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. I am here to bring you the long-awaited kids gift guide and what I'm getting my kids for Christmas. So this Christmas I did more so quality over quantity. I wanted to make sure that I got the kids educational gifts and um, I have a very big surprise coming on um, Christmas Day. So the reason why our budget was a little bit uh, less this year is because we are focusing more so on this big family trip that we are taking. So anyways, let's hop on into what I got Riker this year. I'm super excited to show you guys all of my little finds. All right, so I am missing a few things still. Um, there are a couple of like smaller items um, for like stocking stuffers that I did not include, um, but they're just like miscellaneous little um, like hand toys, so like stacking um, like little buckets um, and then I think I got him like a little chew toy things like that but for his bigger items so I wanted to get the kids some books and some of their favorite books are these never touch a books so I got never touch a shark and then I got never touch a monster these two I will be giving to Riker um, they have these like really nice um, like feely like things throughout the entire book and it's really fun it's super interactive for the kids and um, makes story time it makes them sit still during story time even for Kaya these are her favorite books because she can kind of interact with them as we're reading so I got these two for Riker the next thing that I found for Riker was a little like drum set um, from VTech um, he's very like into like hitting things at the moment so I thought this would be perfect. It lights up um, once they hit it. I don't think there's batteries in it right now, but it um, has like a bunch of these buttons, has a little symbol, just something that's like interactive, but also um, engages his senses at this age. Kind of going along with that same like interactive theme, um, Riker loves to push like cars around. So I got him a nice big dump truck with um, little balls that can go in here and then it makes noises when you turn it on, um, but then he can push this across the floor. That's one of his favorite things to do right now is to scoot things across the floor. So this is perfect for his age and this is a 6 to 36 month by Vita. The next thing that I got for Riker was this um, little steering wheel. I actually thought this would be nice for in the vehicle. Um, so we can like kind of set it in his lap, give him something um, to entertain him. We go on a lot of road trips. We visit my parents a lot and they live about four hours away from us. So when we go on those um, road trips, it's nice to have just a little something to entertain him in the vehicle. The last thing that I have on me currently that I got Riker was a um, little office learning center. So this is like a learning table. I'll have a picture of it up here for you guys because I don't want to take it out of the box. Um, but this, I mean, it was fairly cheap. I want to say this was like $30 and I was able to um, get it on Amazon for even cheaper than that. It was like 25 on sale on Amazon. Um, but just something perfect for him. Like when he's standing up, he's really, he's over his um, exer saucer now. He just doesn't want to sit in it anymore. Doesn't like to be trapped. So this will be nice to still have something in the living room for him that um, is kind of along the same nature that can entertain him while mom is cooking dinner or whatever it may be. Now I didn't get very much for him as far as like toys just because he the kids will be getting so so much from their grandma and grandpa, their Mimi and Papa, from their aunts and their uncles. There's going to be so many like littler toys. So like I said, I'm more so focused on the educational and like quality over quantity. Um, and there are some like miscellaneous smaller things coming in the mail. Um, and I will put a couple of pictures here for you guys of those things that are coming via Amazon Prime still um, for the stocking stoppers. But that is pretty much in a nutshell what I got Riker this year. So now I'm going to hop into what I got Kaya because she has um, a little bit bigger of a loot than Riker has. Okay, so um, going along that same theme for like the um, interactive books, I got this book for Kaya. It is It's Nice to Be a Narwhal. She loves these sequence books um, where they are like, you can like move them back and forth and they switch colors. 
Um, she has a unicorn book just like this and she is obsessed with it. So I thought that this would be a great addition to our little library. See, it's not fun. It's addicting, seriously. Um, but super cute. She'll actually sit through this entire story and ask me to read it three or four times. Um, this is the perfect book anywhere from like one year old to five, six years old. These are really awesome books. Something I wanted to add as well is that you can find everything in this video linked down below. I mostly shopped on Amazon and at Target for the kids' stuff. Um, so if you still are, have not gotten your gifts this year, I am pretty last minute myself, but if you're even more last minute than I am and you really rely on that Amazon Prime two-day shipping, I'll make sure that everything is linked down below so you can hop on these gifts because honestly I feel like I did a pretty good job of hitting all of the targets but also staying on budget. Like I said, we had a smaller budget this year because we were doing a really big trip announcement um, with the kids on Christmas Day like that afternoon. So the next item that I got for Kaya, um, and this is a big one, is the Little Genius Osmo. Um, and this is a, um, it transforms your tablet into an early learning tool. Um, Kaya's four and she will be starting kindergarten here soon and I wanted to really get her um, more acquainted with her alphabet. Now she is in preschool right now and she is learning the alphabet at preschool but um, this is it's really cool. I'll, again this will be linked down below. You can find it on Amazon and at Target. I didn't realize how much of a hot ticket item this was because I had, I ordered like a, there's, you can buy like packs that go with this and they have a frozen pack, um, which I will show you here in a second, like what that looks like, but they have a frozen pack, um, and it was completely sold out on Amazon and the ship date kept, push, get, kept getting pushed back and back and back. It was sold out at Target. Finally, I went on to the Osmo website and I found it. So I will have a link down below, but um, I'm not sure if it'll, I'm not sure if that would arrive in time for Christmas, but it is a hot ticket item and you can buy the starter pack with the Frozen. But I more so wanted this to be um, focused on the alphabet and so I wanted to make sure that I got her the little genius starter kit and then I just purchased the Frozen, um, like, plug-in thing separately but um, it's really cool they have a they have a cool video on Target and on Amazon.com of what this all entails um, it like animates the drawings that they put um, like on their mat and um, he'll ask like this little guy here will like ask him to um, make like, the letter that he's drawing and like a shape or an object in relation with that letter. Just a really great preschool um, learning starter tool. Um, here is the back and some of those um, animations that I was talking about are featured back here. Now this retails for just about $80 for the starter kit. I purchased most of this um, during the Target sale where they had $25 um, $25 off of $100 in toys. So I saved, I spent about $300 I want to say total, um, but I saved $75. So I only spent about $225, which is a great deal. I was able to get this on sale, but um, hot ticket item this year is the Osmo. Staying on track with the Osmo, um, I want to show you guys what the Frozen starter pack looks like. Um, and that is this right here, and it comes with like a little drawing pad, and it animates um, what they draw here. So like I said, there's just like a little reflector thing that goes over their iPad um, camera, and then it, or their tablet, it doesn't have to be an iPad, um, but then there's like this little like pad, like drawing pad down here and it um, reflects everything on the screen, which is super cool. But Kaya's really obsessed with Frozen right now, and again, hot ticket item. I'll have it linked down below, but I'm not sure how like much of this is still in stock, but um, definitely a great, um, definitely a great gift for um, anybody from like age 
This is like three to five, and then this one is more so like five to 10, um, and this one retails for about $60. Okay, so getting into some of the other items that I got for Kaya. Um, she's been really into the Littlest Pet Shop lately, so I purchased this on Amazon. I wanna say this was about $20 on Amazon, um, and it comes with like mamas and babies, and I remember when I was little, I was so obsessed with the mamas and the babies Littlest Pet Shop, Yes, I had a little pet shop when I was Kaya's age and now Kaya has it too So I love it, but she like here's like a mama and then baby and then little tiny tiny babies um, And that's how it goes for all of them. There's like a cat a penguin a leopard a reindeer and a whale Super cute and actually to go hand in hand with this even though it's not the same brand This kind of goes with the next gift that I will be showing you guys. Okay, so Kaya is really really into the Disney Junior Show Tots. Um, so this, this is going to be a, a big one for her um, and is probably going to occupy her for most of the weekend coming up um, because that's when we're celebrating Christmas. But um, this is the, what is it called? The Tots Nursery Headquarters. So even though it's not the same brand, but these kind of go hand in hand with this and um, comes with some babies and I, I don't know there's just there's a whole lot going on here but she's going to be obsessed with this and I'm so excited to give this to her okay um, next thing that I got for Kaya is um, the lore is lava game Kaya is obsessed with this game she talks about it all the time they must have it at daycare um, because she's always talking about it you know exactly what I'm talking about she'll be like the floor is lava the floor is lava so I think this is what she's talking about. They must have it at, day at daycare at preschool. But anyways, I got this. Just nice little like add-on um, and something interactive that we can do with her. Like we can all participate in this game. Um, so anyways, also another really fun gift to get for your about four to five year old. Um, I'm going to hop in. I started getting a couple of um, Kaya's stocking stuffers in. Um, like I said, some of this is still trailing in. Um, I'll leave some um, pictures here of the things that I'm still waiting for, but the things that I did get in, um, I really like to get like coloring books and things like that for stocking stuffers. So I just got her a Disney coloring book, um, and then I got her a mega pack of the twistable crayons. So typically we've been doing like the color wonder for her um, because we don't want her to make a mess, but she's kind of at that age now where she's over the color wonder and she's ready to move on so I got her a really nice big pack of the twistable crayons these are a little bit more durable than those um, than the regular crayons and don't make as big of a mess if you pack them up in like a bag so um, anyway so I got the big 50 pack of these um, and then another stocking stuffer that I got for Kaya is the Orbeez Wow World um, I'm not really sure what is in here but she's obsessed with Orbeez and I think there's like a little like it's Orbeez like with a little toy inside um, but this is a great stocking stuffer I want to say it was only like $4.99 on Target um, and then I also got her some like lol surprise um, doll things to go inside of her stocking like I said um, I'll have pictures for you guys like featuring the things that I'm still waiting on um, but I will also in both the kids' stockings I'll also add like little like treats and stuff so I'll probably do like puffs for Riker um, and then I'll probably have um, like candy and things like that for Kaya. Can't tell at all what it is in here but I'll have a picture here for you guys showing you what that looks like. This is a dollhouse. Now this dollhouse is really nice it's like that compressed wood um, and you um, like screw and nail it together. The last one she had completely fell apart and I felt so bad um, because my mom got it for her but this is a very similar one but it's just a little bit more sturdy and now I was gonna get her like packs that go along with this as well but realized that um, this comes with everything you need this has like all of the furniture pieces it has everything right in here also like Kaya's like aunties uncles grandma and grandpas they're go they're going to be buying like lots of dolls and things like that that will go along perfectly with this dollhouse um, like I said I was more so focusing this year on like the quality of the items that I was getting um, this one was $70 I want to say it was on sale for 50 on Amazon um, but I just I didn't want to overwhelm them with toys 
Something that I have noticed um, over the past few years is that if we get a large quantity of items ourselves, when you add in all of the extended family's gifts, it is so overwhelming, especially for a little kid. It's super exciting, but it's really overwhelming. There were toys from last Christmas that I'm not kidding you, we probably had just opened this fall um, for her to play with because she just had too many toys. Um, Riker is lacking a little bit on his toys, so that kind of, you know, he's probably going to be getting a little bit more um, from like relatives, things like that. But um, yeah, we just wanted to focus more so on replacing some of her toys maybe that have fallen apart, um, focus on like educational toys, um, interactive toys. Um, and yeah, and like I said, we've got a really big trip announcement coming, so we didn't want to get too much. But all right, you guys. That is what I got my kids for Christmas this year. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, sometimes I was thinking about it like before I started recording this. Um, this is plainly just to give you guys some ideas. This is not to show you, hey, this is how much I got my kids. During this time of year too, make sure that you are giving back to your community. Um, part of Christmas for me is the giving part. Um, I absolutely love to give gifts um, and donate. But um, I myself, I don't really care for um, opening gifts. It, I, I love it, it's, it's a lot of fun, but that's not what Christmas is all about for me. What Christmas is all about is, is simply just being with my family and spreading joy and love and kindness. And that is the most important thing about this time of year. Anyways, I just wanted to touch on what Christmas is really about. Christmas is really about just being with your family and celebrating Jesus Christ. And I personally, I am a Christian, so that is what Christmas is all about for me and my family and I just love having everybody under one roof that is my hands down favorite part of Christmas um, it doesn't matter really what I what I give or get as gifts that has nothing to do with the true meaning of Christmas so anyways that is going to wrap it up for today's video I hope you enjoyed all of these fun gift ideas for your kids yourself and if you're a last-minute shopper Click on those links down below. I've got everything hooked up for you, and I will see you tomorrow for an adult's gift guide. All right, okay, bye guys.